of talking to veteran performer Dean Martin, an exclusive TVM interview with the lovable star of over 60 movies. Dean's now an incredible 70 years old, but he's in Britain at the moment for six sellout shows at the London Palladium because uh, although a multi-millionaire, he still absolutely adores performing. I get a great kick out of performing, period, but I get a, a greater kick out of performing at the Palladium where all the big stars, you know, performed here. I, I think Edith Piaf and Marie Chevalier, that to me is why I'm here. Presumably you don't get back on stage because you need the money. No, they keep giving it to me. <laughs> I, I I keep fooling the people once a, once a month in Las Vegas, and they give me money and I take it home. You've always been an absolutely brilliant, laid-back performer, and I just wonder, is that for real? Do you sometimes get a bit nervous, or you, do you always feel relaxed? I've been nervous in my life. I mean... Um, Unless I knew there was somebody in the audience with a gun that was going to shoot me, then I'd be nervous. But why should I be nervous? I, I know what I do is pretty good, and the people love us, so I go out and do it. You've always looked like uh, an artist who really enjoyed what he's doing. I mean, and particularly, I, I know that the Jerry Lewis films that you always looked like you were having a real laugh, the two of you together. I mean, was that true? Oh, that, that was true. And also it's true now when I'm by myself on stage. If, if I'm not having a good time on stage, I'll, I'll tell the people because cause I know if I'm having a good time with the orchestra and my piano player, Ken Lane, and we're having laughs and the audience is laughing, then it's so easy. So tell us about um, what a typical day at home is. I know you've got a, a beautiful house out in Beverly Hills. What, what would a typical Dean Martin day be like? If I'm not working, I just... I'm playing golf. And if it's raining, I have a big room, pool table, I play pool. And uh, maybe I'll fly down to see Frank, down to Springs. Frank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> and uh, stay with him for about a week, you know, Jeannie and I, and we'll have fun down there. Because he always has a, a group of people. He has a party every night. You must have had some pretty wild times together because you were both sort of sex sim symbols and, and idols at the same time. Did, did you have some yeah, fun? We, we have, have had such marvelous times together because we went on the road twice. We went on the road together for six months at different uh, nightclubs. I'd go on first and he'd come on, then I'd bring a bar out, <laughs> and we'd do all the drunk jokes. And we had a lot of fun doing that. Now, I have to ask you this. Um, you were talking about uh, your friendship with Frank Sinatra. What is the truth about uh, you hobnobbing with the Mafia? Frank and I knew him. We never did anything with him. They were just... It's an odd thing to say, but it's the truth. They were very nice guys. You know, I guess if you're nice to somebody, somebody is nice to you. That's all it is. You mentioned the jokes about drinking, and there's always been a sort of running gag about your drinking. Of course, everybody remembers... Before that, yeah. I want a Coca-Cola here, because <laughs> it's very warm under these lights. And this is Coca-Cola. <laughs> There's nothing in it. Look in, see if I can it confirm in. this is Coca-Cola. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Cheers, Dean. <laughs> All the best.
No, he actually said that he'd been up two hours and he hadn't had a drink and he was completely sober. And I just honestly think he's got one of those voices. I mean, there's always been a great debate about whether Dean Martin pretends to be drunk all the time or whether he, I think he's just got one of those voices that sounds kind of slurry and things. Well, Ian Christie in the Daily Express has uh, been along to see him already at the Palladium. He's uh, reviewed the show. Nice to see old folks enjoying themselves, he says. Even nice to, nicer to see them uh, earning some cash at uh, the same time. Goes on to say, actually, it's a very good show. Although, uh, to follow up the point you were making, um, his uh, pretense of being drunk throughout the entire show eventually wore somewhat thin. He was obviously in total control of his material and incredibly well rehearsed, totally sober. So he it was, sounds like one to go and watch. He was also a great gentleman. He was, he was very sweet indeed. And uh, as I said, we've got to, uh, it's a two-part interview and the next part will be uh, tomorrow. And uh, he's going to be exclusively revealing something about his private life, which I won't give away right now. Um, on the programme tomorrow. He's also going to be talking very movingly and at some length about um, his son very tragically was killed earlier this year in, in an aircraft accident and uh, in a way um, him coming back to the stage I think is, uh, is a way of him sort of coming to terms with that and uh, I think he finds that performing is, is quite a good uh, device for getting over it and he'll be chatting about that again tomorrow. It's interesting especially if we get anything more like that the Mafia are all nice chaps totally misunderstood. Uh, 8 <laughs> Over the second part of our exclusive interview with uh, the veteran superstar Dean Martin, who's in Britain at the moment to do a series of concerts at the London Palladium. Well, when Jane spoke to Dean earlier this week, they talked about uh, the tragic death of his son earlier this year and uh, his family, and uh, if at 70 he had any plans to remarry. Yeah, well, Jeannie and I, she's here with me. Oh. Oh, I brought her and... Uh, Gina, my daughter, and Ricky, and my grandson, Alexander. So G Jean is your ex-wife, and you, you think you might get back together again? Oh, we're going to get married again. Oh, that's fantastic news. Brilliant. Also, we're so happy to have Alexander, you know, Dean Paul's son. Dean, we were all very saddened to hear um, about the tragic death of your son in a flying accident and I just wondered really have you at all found any device for coping with that? Well luckily Jeannie and I are both uh, fatalists you know uh, and what has to be has to be and also the reason I mentioned Alex, Alexander, that's Dean Paul's son. He's always with us, or rather he stays with Jeannie most of the time. But uh, we... I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible thing, you know, when you hear about somebody passing away, you say that's, you know, it's a terrible thing, but when this strikes home, that's, that's terrible. Eats you up. But luckily we have a big family and if we just had uh, Dean Paul, then it would be worse than it is now. But uh, we're slowly... We speak of him, we talk. Mm -hmm. We drink to him, you know. And do you think that working, getting back on stage again, has in any way helped you to cope with it? I'm glad you've mentioned that because when we found out that Dean Paul was gone, uh, I had 10 days before I had to open in Las Vegas. And I told the family that I, I couldn't do, I couldn't. And they didn't say anything. And about three days later, I said, why shouldn't I go to work? But you're still going to carry on performing, I hope. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll, I'll perform until I'm gone. 
I'll be going to Las Vegas as long as they'll have me. <laughs> well, Dean, thank you very much indeed, and uh, I sincerely hope that you continue performing for many more years. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, and this has been the nicest interview I've ever had from a very pretty lady. <laughs> I'm glad to see you haven't lost your old charm. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very you. much. The great uh, Dean Martin is performing at uh, the London Palladium uh, at uh, the moment. And there's been some good reviews too, hasn't there? We read one yeah, or two he's, yesterday. He's still got the old style, the old laid-back style. And I know of a very great fr friend of his, friend of his, fan of his, uh, Florence Barrington uh, from Salford, who's in Parkland's nursing home. And I know she's not very well at the moment. She absolutely adores Dean Martin. So uh, I said I'd give you a special mention. I hope you get better soon, Florence. Ladies like Florence.